The way Ryan Ecology came to me was I saw there was a need. Youth have a much higher probability of staying in therapy when they're intrinsically motivated to do something. What's driving a lot of our youth today is the desire to be a rapper, to be a famous DJ. If you're working with marginalized youth, at-risk kids, you should have some sort of tool which you can connect with them in the realm of hip-hop. The Rhyme College game is very easy to use. You don't have to be well-versed in hip-hop. You pull a card out and you read it. Nas's song, One Love, was about him writing a friend in prison. Have you ever had a friend or a family member who was in prison? How did you keep in touch with them? How did it affect you? You don't have to know that Nas song, do you? The personal experiences I've had with using this game have been nothing but positive. They answer questions that they would not ask if I directly asked them the exact same thing minus the card. If I say, hey, you know, how do you handle your anger when you're mad at mom? They might shrug. If I say, hey, Eminem made a song called Cleaning Out My Closet where he expresses his anger about his mother, how do you express your anger about your mother? It's easier for them to answer. It's fantastic, it's easy to use, and I want other clinicians, other therapists to have that same experience that I'm having. The Rhymecology game is an evidence-based tool. The research included numerous empirical studies, peer-reviewed articles, and proof that hip-hop therapy is one of the most effective ways of keeping your clients in therapy and keeping their interest while in therapy.